and today I'm going to show you how to work out the sum of interior angles in any polygon. Now a polygon is just another funny word for a shape and you probably already know how many degrees there are already in a triangle, 180, and in a quadrilateral, a four-sided shape, which is 360. But as we increase the number of sides, the number of degrees also increase, and it's quite difficult to remember how many degrees in a pentagon, a hexagon, a nonagon. So we have a formula and we have a method to help us work these angles out. So here I've got a pentagon, and I'm going to split it up into three triangles because I know that in one triangle I have 180 degrees so in this one there's 180 in this one there's 180 and also in this one so this pentagon actually consists of three triangles so if I multiply the number of degrees 180 for one triangle if I multiply that by three it gives me carry that over 540 degrees. So this is the sum of interior angles. So that just means all of these inside angles added together. So all pentagons have exactly the same, so they'll always have angles adding up to 540. So you could always just draw in the triangles and then use this method, but if they give you a 24-sided shape, it might be a bit tedious, a bit long-winded to draw all the triangles in. So I'm going to show, uh, show you a formula that works out the sum of interior angles. So the formula is n minus 2 times by 180 degrees. So we actually use this without even realising it in this question here. n is the number of sides. So in this question here for a pentagon, it was a five-sided shape. So n would have been 5. Well, if we do 5 minus 2, it gives us 3. Well, look, here, 3 was the number of triangles. So this bracket actually works out the number of triangles in the shape, and then you multiply that answer by 180 to calculate the sum of interior angles. So n is the number of sides. You always minus 2. Keep that in brackets and then you multiply that answer by 180. So I'll show you in another example next. Alright, so in this second example it's a little bit different because it doesn't ask for the sum of interior angles. We only want to find one interior angle in a regular octagon. So regular just means all the sides are equal in length. That's why I've just done the little dashes there on the lines just to show that this is a regular octagon. And it doesn't matter that this formula is for the sum of interior angles and we only need to work out one because if this has eight equal sides, it also has eight equal angles. So all of these angles, the interior angles inside this octagon will be the same. So if we can work out the sum of interior angles, all we need to do to work out one is divide by the number that there are, which is eight. So using my formula, remember n is the number of sides. So in this example, n is equal to eight. So you do eight minus two, and then you multiply by 180 or 8 minus 2 is 6. So if I was to split this octagon into triangles, I should find that there are 6 triangles within this shape. So then we're going to times by 180. So that gives me 1080 degrees. So all of these interior angles inside the shape, they add up to 1080. Remember they add up to that because it's the sum of interior angles. So we haven't finished the question yet because the question is to find one. So we need to take this answer here, 1080, and we need to divide it into eight because there are eight equal inside angles. So let's see, what does that give me? So if I divide that number by eight, I get 135. So this interior angle here is 135 degrees. So I've answered the question, okay, that is one interior angle. So learn that formula, that might come in handy if you have to work out the sum of interior angles 
Um, it's not too difficult to remember. If you get really stuck, you can always split your polygon up into triangles and that will work as well. Okay, so bye for now.